Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Justice for All. We are still on the case where Von Karma is the prosecutor. Not that Von Karma, a better Von Karma. You guys know what I'm saying? Like a better Von Karma. Anyway, we are going to jump right back into the case. If you guys are cool with that, you're down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. June 21, 1137 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Phew, that was a close one. I know you were giving it your all to defend me. But I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. Uh, thanks? Wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lotta Hart. Oh, guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you'd save me. If you lose, me and my sister's ghost will come after you and haunt you. Your sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now you know, you little pipsqueak. June 21, 11.43 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Lotta Hart has those pictures from the crime scene. So this could be a fuck you up. Court will now reconvene. Now, the first order of... Ow! I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Y yes sir! Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. I forgot that she whips. She could whip me anytime. Witness, your name and occupation if you please. Hi, Phoenix. How you doing? Just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know. Hey, yowza! <laughs> Name an occupation. I declare one tarnation. Hey, Judge. This here is violence against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine. That ain't fine. That's a whip. Yeah! There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gotten to say my name and job yet. Uh-oh. Whip time! The name's Lot of Heart, paranormal photographer, and I'm here to testify. Now, now, let's all be one big happy family, okay? Alright guys, first witness testimony of the day. If your eyes aren't locked in, what is you doing? Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear the gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Wait, she was not waving a gun around. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Reckon course. Huh? Excuse me? Reckon course. It's short for your reckon. Of course I did. Yeah. Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. This here's the picture. What? I don't remember that. Hmm. It would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in that room. Lotta's photo added to the court record. A picture taken at the murder scene. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me. Okay, I gotta examine that photo again. Cross-examination, first one of the day. I am ready. Okay, before we do anything, let me check that photo real quick because I didn't really get a good look. We got to make sure we've seen everything. So she's holding a gun in her right hand. This guy's on the floor. No shoes on, of course, because I think they took their shoes off. Candles everywhere. Let's see here. Okay, nothing looks out of the ordinary yet, but I'm pretty sure something's wrong with this photograph. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear this gunshot. Hold it! Was it really a gunshot? Objection! 
Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Uh, why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know, and I tell you that was a gunshot I heard. Now, this. This is where the story heats up. Okay, that was obviously stupid to question. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. So, let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down? Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Miss Von Karma, I broke the door down. Sorry. Why does this feel like an inquisition? No need for apologizing. That was great. You're a real man. Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. And what did you see once you broke in? Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. Hold it! That's the one I wanted to hold. Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Fey? Sure, I'm sure. Lotta seems awful confident in her testimony. Press harder, obviously. Gotta press that real tough. Lotta, please think back to that day one more time. What you getting at? Remember what you said when we broke into the room? I don't remember what she said. I was murdered. Lotta, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? When you saw the murderer at the time. You couldn't even tell if it was Maya Faye or not, am I correct? Ah, uh, um, well, you see. Yeah, you guys see? I know you see. And, uh, Miss Hart, you are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry. Good. This shifts things back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the chamber was Maya Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. It looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Fey. Exactly. Rats! And I'm trapped like one. Again! I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. You swear? You pinky swear? Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure I am. But that old witch chased us out the room, so... Old witch? Does she mean Morgan Fey? But there was no one else in there, and you know it. The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about behind the folding screen, behind the door, under the flooring? Hold on, hold on. Let me check real quick. I want to make sure we are touching every base. Maybe behind the curtain, right? Or this folding thing, the folding screen? Nobody would be under here because the guy's body weight would be pressing on it so no one could go out from under it. But somebody can certainly be behind the folding screen. So what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna say... Take that! Oh, we're not gonna say take that. Okay, I feel dumb now. What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Wrecking Given. What's that even mean? Huh? What in the... Wreck Given. You know, you reckon? That's a given. I took me a good look around the room once. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. Hmm, if I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. What? You got a problem? Rick Gibbon, I mean, I am having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop saying such things as Rick on Gib- Ah! Now then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, do you see a problem with the testimony or don't you? Ah, her story adds up. What's worse, I was there at the scene of the crime with her. And her story is exactly how I would have told it, too. Enough! It seems that there are no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. 
the victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Faye. Hmm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. If I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not Maya in that photo? Present evidence? Can't present anything yet? Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not Maya in that photo? What? I don't know. Your Honor! Mr. Wright! It is possible that the person in this photo is not the defendant. What? Do you know what you are proposing? Yeah! That's just plain fool's talk! Thanks, guys. Your show of support was just great. Now then, Mr. Wright. Please show the court some proof. Prove to this court that the person in this photo is not Maya Faye. Um... Well... She was possessed, right? But it was actually her. So... I mean, physically it was her. But maybe it wasn't her spiritually. But I don't have anything that can actually, like, debunk that. Okay, uh... I don't think that we have the right evidence, so I'm just gonna give up. Well, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough! Is this it? Is this all I could do? I think it is quite obvious to the court that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you, totally, 100% impossible. Miss Van Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume? I couldn't protect Maya. The defense... The defense... Phoenix, Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. Mia! Mama Mia, god damn. I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? You, but pearls! Her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go! But how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? Dr. Gray! I was murdered. What? Lotta, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. She took two photos. You see, there was one final piece to this puzzle. Mia? Question Lotta one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but... She's not testifying truthfully. Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore... Ah! It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. <laughs> this fool keep getting whipped on his bald-ass head. Avon Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? But, I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Uh, all right. I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See, you got through to the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him.
Eh, whatever. Our voice, her whip. Witness account part two. Guys, if you're not locked in, what are you doing with your life, man? Lock in! When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was, uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. You took two shots. Where is the other picture? Nothing sounds different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm gonna press her on every single thing. Every single testimony. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. You sure about that? So, what did she look like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. Uh, a different person? She may have seemed like a different person. However, she was still Maya Fey. We have already made that point abundantly clear. Yes, that is true. Well, then, Miss Hart, did you happen to see anything else? I was, uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. HOLD IT! Then perhaps that body was not Dr. Gray's at all. Eh? Well, I reckon that's possible. If the body inside that room was not that of Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix, right? Well, what if it was that of Maya Faye after the channeling? Or maybe... OW! Foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness, just as I expect of a foolish fool such as you. If that were the case, then that would mean that Maya Fey is, in fact, dead. That is actually true. And that would make the defendants share quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Ugh, sorry, Maya. Are y'all done here? Can I continue? She likes whipping Phoenix. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. Are you, though? Are you really? And even knowing that, you still persist in being a paranormal photographer? That's why I'm getting out of this here business. This gal's gonna get the dirt on the stars and be a tabloid photographer from now on. She goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright, would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Well, would it, Mr. Wright? Nice, tag teamed in stereo. Guess I should be grateful it's not in 5.1. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Hold it! You took two shots! Where's the other picture? Two, right? Two what? Two shots. What she think I'm talking about? Two balls? Two hairy nuts? You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where's the other picture you have been withholding? No, no, no. You got it all wrong. It's not me. I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious? That prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. What? <sighs> Von Karma! <laughs> yes, guys, I said Von Karma. She's gonna whip us all if we don't shut up. Uh, Miss Von Karma, you, you're hiding critical evidence! Unforgivable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this. You're as bad as your father! Confront Francisca, leave it to the judge. No, we're gonna do it ourselves. We got big enough balls. Your Honor, the defense asked the prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Hmm. Ah! Me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious. But, but you hid evidence from the court. On purpose! That's, that's... That's not fair! Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Ugh, I was so angry I lost my composure. Miss Van Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How could you think? The pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. More trouble than it's worth? How? How can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. 
Lot of photo two added to the court record. Okay, let's check this bad boy out. What's she hiding? Why does she look like that? Why are her eyes so freaking big? What is... What is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Um, I think the important point here is the person in this picture. This is most definitely not my FA. Oh, wow. No wonder I was like, why do our eyes look so freaking big? What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I or should I not insist that the person in this picture is not Maya Faye? Of course we're gonna insist that it's not Maya! Come on now! Your Honor! As you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not Maya Faye! Yes, I see that. It's not just her face. Her whole body has taken on a different appearance. There is only one conclusion that can be drawn then. That somehow, this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. How, though? How did that happen without Maya knowing? Arda! 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 Well, yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Fey. Mia, we did it! You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. She's... Smiling? I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix, right? Miss Van Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. Who the hell's that? This was taken yesterday at the detention center's visitor's room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Faye, during his visit. Maya Faye? But... Isn't this a totally different person? Who did she whip? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit! Oh... That's actually true. It's unbelievable that she can... Yet, it is the truth. When Maya Faye is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Guys, shut up! You've talked like five times this episode! Miss Von Karma, a word, if I may. Mia, taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal, but I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. I... I don't have even a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant, Maya Fey? If I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. Is there any way I can prove that the person in this picture is not Maya? I can't prove it. Guys, I can't prove it. But I can? Oh, man. I don't know. Should we say that we can't prove it? It's no good. My argument doesn't hold any water. I see the defense is staying silent on this one. Yes, Your Honor. And to think, I even gave you this chance to prove your point for free. But you couldn't even point yourself out in a lineup. Hmm, yes. Well then, I believe we have reached a conclusion. Phoenix. Yes? You can't give up, please. For me? Take a look at the court record again and try to find some way out of this jam. I'll give it another shot. The judge is about to close the trial. You can't let that happen. Uh, it's come down to this. Your Honor. Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. What is it now, Mr. Wright? Please! Please let me explain! So, you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what is so strange in this picture? Oh, I gotta point out what's strange? I gotta point that shit out? Okay. Um, well, she got a gun in her hand. Uh, she got blood on the clothes, I think. 
Her eyes are like big and buggy, you know? What about this Magatama thing? Did she have it on her neck? Or did she take it off? I can't remember. Um, I think that might be it because we do have it in our possession. Got some big old jugs too. I don't know if those are her jugs. That might not be Maya's jugs. So yeah, guy's dead over there. Bloody robes. I think it's the Magatama. Please? The contradiction lies here. You don't sound very sure of yourself, Mr. Wright. Excuse me, but can you really tell me how much confidence I have in this? Huh. What is with that attitude? Ah, that hurt! Didn't we just finish discussing that her appearance changes during channeling? I know you ain't no dummy, so don't... Whoa, okay, everybody just talking now? I can't go back? Oh my god, I did not mean to click that. I did not mean to click that. Okay, can I check the court record? Wait a minute, there's a bullet hole in her left sleeve? Is that the left sleeve? So if you do it this way, yeah, it's her left sleeve. But if we look at the picture, there's no bullet hole. So I messed up. I got a game over, though. Ah, I got a game over. Okay, so we got to reload this, guys. And uh, we got to mention that bullet hole. No, not guilty. Not guilty. All right, guys, so I had to go back to my last save point, And we're finally back here. I can prove it. If we actually got to examine the uniform before we had to point out a difference, you know, in the uniforms, I would have seen clear as day the bullet hole is not there in the picture. And now we can actually point it out. Okay, so it was her left sleeve, like around here, and take that! Please direct your attention here. To the sleeve? But there isn't anything odd about it. You sure about that, old man? And that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. It should be there. Oh! There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Yes, guys, it should be in this picture as well. Miss Van Karma, you, you intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. All right, this should do some major damage to her argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Again? Why is she smiling and wagging that finger? Ah, oh, she's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. And now she's taking a bow for what? Tiss, <laughs> tiss. Jump me the gun again, I see. Your Honor, I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed a bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could have not known that this picture was of any value to this case. Hmm, I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it. The woman knew about everything, the bullet hole, the picture, everything! But you can't prove that. Francisca Van Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that Detective gets what's coming. Oh, he's gonna get what's coming, and it's gonna hoit. It's gonna burn. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at his next salary discussion. Poor gumshoe. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, alright? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor! There is only one logical explanation for the contradiction. The picture is fake, the bullet hole was made later, the shooter is someone else. The shooter is someone else. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person's clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether! What? If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ow! Ah! Don't want me! The defense's... The defense's argument is a complete mess! A 
complete mess? I fail to see how. Please, enlighten us. Hey, witness. Ah! What the heck? Is that any way to ask a gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who said it was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know, if you were lying, I swear that my whip will be the last thing you see. Look, sis, you're looking mighty scary, so why don't we say you... Ah! I swear, I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Um, why is it lately all I want to do is cry? Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Come on. You can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even Mia's calling me by my full name. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So, where did this intruder appear from? And where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? That's what I was thinking. And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those conditions were true. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Guys, guys, guys. When I was editing the last Phoenix Wright episode, Maya said that she smelled a smell that she smelled before. And I remember in the first Phoenix Wright game, she got like chloroformed on the mouth or like drugged on the mouth with like a, like a cloth. And then she got drugged that way. Maybe somebody drugged her, dragged her out the room, killed the guy, put her back in the room, and then bam. I think that's what happened. Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber is a third person had entered it, Maya had left the room, something I can't explain yet. A third person had entered it and then uh, drug Maya with like some kind of like drug. Your Honor, I would like to present some evidence. I have proof that there was someone else in the room before the murder took place. No, I don't. I don't have that. No. Okay, so I guess I have to say I can't present that yet. Okay, Pearly gave us the black key, right? The key that goes into the channeling chamber. So that's like the only thing that we have that can prove that she actually left the room. So we are going to wind it up and take that! Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from his side with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key's the only one of its kind after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, it looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Huh? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at that time of her arrest. Huh, well, ain't that a key? So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time! Nowhere near the crime scene, guys. Far away, just... That's preposterous! This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you! No! It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Van Karma. How can 
this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case? How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you! I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict! That's enough! If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. No, she's gonna whip me there. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. Okay, we gotta rack up more avidance. June 21, 132 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Wow! That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I felt like I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick? I know you're trying really hard and all, but... I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think that a third person could have gone into that room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Ah, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick, do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. All right, Pearls, you ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? Poor thing. So sheltered. To be continued. Okay, guys, so we got to go on the investigation. We got to figure out how she either left the room or how somebody entered that room. Like I told you guys before, when I was editing the last episode, she mentioned something that she smelled a smell that she smelled before or something like that. I don't know if it's like word for word, but she said she smelled a smell that was familiar to her. In the first Phoenix Wright game, she got drugged like a cloth over her mouth and then she got drugged, I think. I think that she was drugged. The real murderer, you know, dragged her out the room and then did what she did, like dressed up in her clothes and then shot the guy and then put Maya back in the room. But we're all going to figure that out next episode. If you guys want to see that as soon as possible, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that too.